YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you watching this. What's up? It's your boy Rope. I'm here today with we gonna see. We doing an unboxing of the Kobe 4 Pro Cho Olympic colorway. Now, the story behind this though, I'm gonna keep y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep y'all hip to what's going on. I got them on accident, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, and what I mean by that is I seen the like alert form and I was at work. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go upstairs, get some service real quick. Let's see what's going on. The day before I had just found out I did us three strikes. You know, I don't know their situation with Kanye or whatever. Well, I kind of do know the situation with Kanye based off of hearsay. You know what I'm saying? I don't make enough money to be in other people's business like that. So, you know, they're getting rid of all his, his whole line. So they got shoes for 70% off. I might drop a link. In case, you know, y'all wear a crazy size, because the last time I checked, they didn't have no regular sizes. They either had super small or super big paws. Um, you know, like the whole Yeezy line, like 700, 350, 500. Um, a lot of them is sold out because, you know, people was hip to the sale. Shout out my dog, Luke. He the one that put me on. He sent the link in the group chat, and I said, oh, appreciate that. I got two pairs of shoes for like $200, and you usually don't get one pair of shoes, a Yeezy. For two hundred dollars, so I said, "Oh yeah, that's a steal." And now that they they like discontinuing the whole line, that's going. On, you know what I'm saying? Later on, later on in life, whatever. You feel me? That's just some memorabilia type. You feel me? And nothing but great things from Kobe Falls. Like, for lack of better words, I've heard that from back then till now. Like, it's damn near one of the best hoop shoes. Like, Kobe's in general is like one of the best hoop shoes of all time. Let's see. Y'all gonna see it before I do here. Yeah. Yeah, hold on now, hold on now. This is my first Kobe Foes, by the way. I done had Kobe 6s, I done had Kobe 8s. I got the Venice Beach. I think I dropped a video for that already. Um, I've had Kobe's in my life, but now they mean a little more. And yesterday was, damn, I should have dropped this on 8, 8, 24. That would have really did something. But I'm going to probably drop this on 8, 10, 24 because that's exactly what I'm going to do. By the time y'all see that, I'm dropping this tomorrow, for sure. Saturday, 8, 10, 24. Because, shout out to Team USA as well. Because they was in a dog fight. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all had me, they had me in the first half, literally. I thought it was GG's for USA. They were playing Serbia yesterday. I ain't gonna lie. A little, a little shaky. A little, a little shaky. And I ain't think they was gonna pull through. So, you know, shout out to them. Melo was on the sideline coaching them boys up. It was like, yo, do this, bro. Clear out, man. Hey, give him the rock. Get out the way, bro. Like, y'all doing too much of this. Ah, ah, ah. Man, get a ball to the best ISO player and get him a mojito. You feel me? Um, you know, so shout out to them boys. They they pulled through. It was looking, like I said, sus. Europeans play better basketball than us. I'm going to be quite honest. Like, Europeans play way better basketball than us because they don't do the whole ISO ball thing. Like, you can put any five out there and they're going to get you a good shot every time. The only reason why we succeed is because we're just talented. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's pure talent. Like, KD's favorite saying, hard work beat talent. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> now, when you got that much damn talent, it don't matter how much hard work you put in. Some niggas just got it. Let's go ahead with this unveiling, unboxing. You know, Kobe and Gigi got a statue going out. So, let's see. It's just a, it's just a regular box, a Mamba logo. You feel me? You know, regular, 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 schmegular. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. Little signature at the bottom. I don't know if y'all can, y'all can see that. Little signature at the bottom. Little reptile. Little, you feel me? Going on situation. Oh, you see it. Oh, uh, what if I opened it and it was a fluke? <laughs> what if I? Damn, that new shoe smell is crazy. This like, this really give me nostalgia because. I don't know what it is, but new shoes ain't really been smelling like new shoes lately. Y'all drop y'all y'all tell me what y'all think about that. I ain't gonna lie. Just the like bump the colorway. The actual shoe, I ain't gonna lie. This is like the epitome of a basketball shoe. Like it's not heavy at all. It's like it's just perfect, bro. Like if I say I'm going to go play basketball, this is what I imagine. Not the colorway, the actual shoe. This is what I imagine. Not too high, not too low, not too heavy, not too bulky. The material, impeccable. Sensational. I don't know, bro. This is what, it, this is what it's going for. Let's see. Y'all know back in the day. I don't know, I'm probably going to show my age a little bit. Then one. Here we go. 
I used to lick the bottom of the shoe. I don't know if some, some of y'all probably was licking the bottom for real dirty motherfucker. But yeah, it's like really, it's really like that. You know what I'm saying? We get into the details and all that. You know what I'm saying? A little situation going. The 10 on the back. So I got to drop it on 8, 10, 24. It's only right. And USA got to win. USA got to win, bro. Got to win gold while I got these. You know, perfect timing, bro. Divine timing. God's timing. You feel me? But yeah, this is just an impeccable shoe so far. They said the inside got a creative. So let's say 824.08. Shout out to Bean, bro. Get that in focus a little bit. Get that in focus. Shout out to Bean, man. Rest in peace to Mamba, man. Got 11 and a half. They said go true to size. So that's what I did. So now we about to try these on. You feel me? I may or may not hoop in these. Depends. You know. I don't really play basketball that much these more, these days anymore because it's just too painful, bro. They said they got a little, it's just a true to size shoe. So that's what they say. I went, I did my reviews. Uh, the tongue is a little skinny, you know what I'm saying? It's got a little mesh joint action going on. Got a little, little mesh action going on, a little skinny joint, you feel me? So we're going to see, right foot first. You put your right foot in, you put your left foot out. You put your left foot in, then you shake it all around. You do the hokey pokey and you turn it on. I ain't gonna lie. It's a little snug. If I do say so myself. 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 But if I take the insoles out, I think it'll give me some, some room. And then I'm gonna just loosen up the laces. And I think I should be all right. I got these thick socks on too, so that don't help. I know that. At true to size, I probably should have went 12 on it, man. Shout out to Kobe, man. I don't know how niggas wear hoop shoes out in public. Like, that's beyond. Other than Jays, like, niggas really be wearing a bronze outside. Like, it's crazy work. D-Book, the only person I think you could wear their shoes outside. And D-Wade. Like, ja, wearing Jaws to, like, Walmart or something? Insane. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie. Insane. Let's see. And I got Adidas on, so don't get me don't 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 get me too too bad. I'm set tripping a little bit. I'm set tripping a little bit. But yeah, these joints. And a lot I feel like once I once I break them in and you know create a little room, these might be alright. These might look. These might be alright. I'm gonna show my you feel me. My little. Yeah, I feel like I. Ah. Slide, slide, slide. Yeah, I, I can get right with these. But yeah, man, that's that's really all. Nothing to it, but to do it. Uh, I probably spin the block once. I actually plan these. They say the traction is impeccable. I can see why the rubber is tough. <laughs> I feel like you play on the outside court with these. Um. If you wear thicker socks, I would definitely say to go up half a size. If especially if you're still doubling up on your socks, uh, I feel like that's childish. But you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but yeah, if you wear thick socks when you hoop, if you wear like them elite socks, etc., then definitely go up half a size. If you like a little space, just feel like it could possibly hurt in a couple days if you know. Come down too hard, you come, especially with the traction, you stop too hard and your toe go to the front of this joint. It's gonna be kind of crazy. But shout out to Bean once again. And make sure if y'all made it this far, bro, that means y'all rocking with me. And I really appreciate y'all for rocking with me, because I'ma rock with y'all the way y'all rock with me. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Um I'm trying to get this first thousand out the way, you feel me? Let's get this first thousand. You know, guy, you gotta crawl before you walk. And yeah, let's just see what YouTube got in store for me in 2024, man. We up in the whole scope. You dig what I'm saying? Tell a friend to tell a friend so we can do it again. Spin again. Get the back end, not the front end. In the front end and the back end. And we out of here.